Municipalities are on the front lines of adapting to climate change, but they're also on the front lines of producing greenhouse gas emissions to prevent that climate change from happening. Well, I think the municipalities have to lead by example. We, have, we do solar panels and we encourage our people to do solar panels. We have a complete energy audit of all of our buildings. We encourage our people to have an energy audit of their homes. We do aggregation of uh, electricity and we encourage people to join that. So we lead by example. We are now becoming the front lines in the efforts to uh, combat the adverse impacts of climate change. They are real, we feel them on a daily basis, and it's incumbent upon local officials, mayors, uh, and communities to take proactive steps to address these issues. Sustainable Jersey is a certification program, and there are 445 of the 565 municipalities participating in it, working towards our certification. And they implement specific actions that make their town more sustainable. And a lot of those actions have to do with greenhouse gas emissions, uh, lowering them, and also making towns more resilient to climate change. I think Sustainable Jersey is fantastic. We take their roadmap and we follow what they suggest, and we also come up with things on our own and suggest to them. One of the big things we're looking at right now is a renewable government energy aggregation program. Preserving open space has been uh, a big thing. We're looking at electric car charging stations. We have over $90 million invested in resilient stormwater retention systems. We have $230 million in state and federal funding to combat the effects of coastal flooding, which we saw during Superstorm Sandy, and we have another $300 million from PSE&G in resilient energy programs. If every municipality in the state of New Jersey were to achieve the Sustainable Jersey Gold Star Standard in energy, then collectively we as a state would actually be on a trajectory to um, achieve our, our targets, our goals for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. But I think as leaders, we need to stand behind the science. It's going to take everybody doing their part in order to keep the planet going. And so if, if not us, who?